Thank you for joining me today as we kick off the 2021 budget process. It feels like just yesterday I was delivering my State of the City address, outlining our ambitious plans for this year. The world sure looks a lot different now than it did then. My heart is with everyone in the community who has been impacted by COVID-19. Families who have lost loved ones far too soon, parents faced with the difficult task of caring for their children or losing their jobs. Local businesses facing a struggle to keep their doors open and their staff safe. And yet, in a year marked with tremendous loss and pain, with a virus that cruelly demands we stay far apart, it is no surprise that we still found a way for us to come together, to care for one another. That's who we are. That's the Kingston way. In moments of great hardship, we show up, we see each other's pain, and instead of looking away, we look for ways to help. We look forward toward ways to heal. And when our community saw our neighbors struggling with food insecurity in the early days of the pandemic, we created solutions together. I am so proud of our staff from the various departments who worked alongside hundreds of volunteers and community organizers who responded to the emergency food hotline, who collected and sorted donations at our local food pantries, and who delivered food to our neighbors' homes as part of the Kingston Emergency Food Collaborative. And through all of these unprecedented challenges, while responding to emerging needs in our community during this pandemic, our city staff kept our essential services running without missing a beat. Our Department of Public Works continued to maintain our streets and pave our roads, our firefighters continued to respond within three minutes for our calls for service. And our parks maintenance staff ensured we kept our beautiful parks and trails safe and open to the public when we needed them most. I am so grateful to our incredible team of professionals who make up the city's workforce. And I wanna take a moment to introduce you to just a few of our staff who serve on the city's front line. My name is Andrew Williams and I'm from Kingston, New York. It's our, our number one goal, our number one priority as part of our vision is to connect the community with the different opportunities and the different programs that we provide and that we create on a daily and on a yearly basis. Opportunity for a kid to see something and do something and they can take off. Hi, my name is Sandra Soria. I work for the city of Kingston. I've been working here for 16 years and I love my job. We do all kinds of works around the city. We pick trash up, recyclables, we maintain the roads, we plow snow. So we in the hot days and the cold days, uh, rainy days, we out up there serving our community. My name is Lieutenant Christina Meshi, and I've worked for the Kingston Fire Department for a little over 15 years now. This job is incredibly exciting. We come to work every day and we never know what's going to happen and we have to think on our feet. We have to encounter a variety of situations because we certainly just don't respond to fires, we respond to a variety of emergencies. So my favorite thing about my job is the ability to help people when, whenever they need and wherever they're at in their day. With serious projected cuts in state aid and other revenues diminishing, Communities across New York are struggling with how to manage this financial impact of this global pandemic, and Kingston is no exception. However, we have been preparing for this moment for a long time. Over the last few years, we have made sound financial decisions, like paying down high interest short-term debt and closely monitoring our revenues and expenses. We will weather this storm because we were prepared for it. Our community has already lost so much, and it is my commitment to continue to protect the financial stability of our city and its taxpayers while, increasing, while dealing with the increased costs in this difficult time. And so with that in mind, I am proud to present the 2021 budget that includes no tax increases for the sixth year in a row. no layoffs of city staff, 
a $1.3 million cut to our city spending. while meeting the increased need for services. In the end, a municipal budget isn't about money. It's about people. It's about each of you, our neighbors, our local businesses, and our families. Having what you need to thrive. I believe that this budget reflects those values and priorities of our city and the people that live here. Because at a time when our children are struggling to understand why the world is changing, we need to invest in safe, clean parks and community centers for them to play. At a time when our city is looking for ways to grow and develop our local economy, we need to invest in our infrastructure. At a time when too many of our neighbors are struggling with housing insecurity, we need to rebuild our vacant homes and move forward policies that protect our existing residents. And at a time when we are working together to envision changes to our public safety system, we need to listen to our community and invest in what they need. I want to thank each of my departments who assisted in developing this year's budget. And I especially want to thank our comptroller, John Tuey, and for his expertise in helping us maneuver during this difficult fiscal time. You can find all of the details of our city's budget by visiting kingston-ny.gov forward slash budget 2021. Stay safe and take care. Thank you.